we, humanity, and predominantly the rich, developed countries, have imposed upon ourselves nothing less than a planetary crisis. We face an unprecedented global challenge. The 193 heads of state and government of the United Nations have adopted 17 sustainable development goals in the name of prosperity, people, and planet. The world was given to us as a common home. It is a call to treat it with respect. If there's one universal aspiration in the world, it's that every parent wants the best for their child. I don't think advocacy can take the field any further. It needs knowledge. It needs science. Welcome to the course of Sustainable Ocean. I, as a physical oceanographer, will teach you how the ocean physics work. I'm a professor in global sustainability at Stockholm University. I'm an evolutionary biologist. I'm a professor of applied psychology. It's a dialogue between the scientist and you. Human health is indivisible from the well-being of the planet as a whole. People who suffer most from our unsustainable way of living are those who have had no say. It's not like women's rights are a human rights problem only. We've begun transgressing planetary boundaries. It's always perceived as a zero-sum power game. We need to understand how natural resources affect political systems. How does it relate? Why is it important? Sustainable development is impossible without human rights for all. And these pieces are interconnected. Add your voice to the global discussion. You can become part of the solution.